Okay, so for this first craft, I took this little like cupboard door thing that I found for $3 at Habitat for Humanity Restore, and I just painted it. Uh, this first color here is Buttercream by Dixie Belle. I just gave it one good thick coat of that. And then I took these three acrylic paints and painted the outer part like a frame, you know? And I just dry brushed and blended all three of those colors until I got it how I liked it. And like I said, I sped up as much of the painting as I could, but I left this part in here because I know people are always asking me kind of like how I blend and how I do this, this style of painting. So I left some of that in here, but like I said, I tried to make it as fast as possible, but that's what I do here. And I let it dry also in between. Like if you let this part dry and then dry brush, like right there, you can see that looks nice. Okay. So like I said, as you can see here, like once I dried it in between coats, it gives it more of a dry brushed look instead of that blended look. So just know that if you're going to, if you want like a blended look to obviously keep it wet. I mean, this is obvious stuff. I just, I guess I need to, I don't know if I need to say it or not, but <laughs> anyway, I just kept dry brushing that. And then I tried to lay this love sign on every single DIY in this video, which I think is so funny. And I show it, I left it in here because I like to leave stuff like that in here. Cause it might, it might give you guys an idea of something else you can make with stuff you have on hand. So anyway, I left that in here. And then I cut out all the white space on this Be Grateful sign because I was trying to decide for sure if I really liked it or not. So anyway, I, I did that and then I decided it looked cute and it fit almost perfectly, which was convenient. So anyway, stuck it on there, but I made sure to always make sure that your, obviously your space, whatever you're putting it on is super dry first. Otherwise these will not stick because they're already kind of like a cheaper made sticker, you know, so they won't stick if the surface is wet at all. So I made sure it was super dry. And then I've been dying to use this little greenery um, rub-on sticker thing. Um, so I, sorry, I just said um like four times. Anyway, I've been dying to use it. So I placed it here where I thought it would look cute. And then I just cut out little pieces that fit together well. And I just placed them like you'll see here. And I think it turned out really cute. And this Be Grateful sign, actually, I didn't show it before I cut it up. But it came with a leaf that was like a silver but I just didn't want that, obviously. But I felt like I wanted a leaf. I wanted the leaves to be on there. But I really like the green ones. Like I said, I was dying to use them. So that is where I got that idea. Okay, and then I'm just obsessed with putting these little wood button plugs on everything. So I stuck these like one in each corner. And I mean, you could totally not do this if you didn't like that, but I think it's cute. So yeah, I went ahead and did that. And then I just took my leftover, like whatever was left on my paintbrush and kind of just dry brushed over them so that they didn't quite look like, so they didn't stand out quite as much. But yeah, I just thought it was a really cute touch. So then, okay, I just made a little simple bow here basic and then I hot glued it on and stapled it onto the top there so that it wouldn't like stick down into the wording section but yeah you'll see here I just hot glue it and staple it and pretty self-explanatory on that and I don't know what it is but I just love adding bows to everything let me know in the comments if you guys like that too like if you like adding bows to everything or not <laughs> and here's a look at how it turned out I put it on my hutch and styled it. You'll have to um, wait till the end of the video and I'll show you guys I'm a whole hutch with everything styled on it and how cute it all looks together. But yeah, stay tuned for that at the end. Okay, and then this is literally so easy. I almost didn't include this in the video, but I just like to give you guys ideas. All I did literally was take white paint and cover up that gold. I didn't, and I didn't really fully cover it either. I just kind of dry brushed it across because I didn't want that bright gold on my hutch where I put this. So anyway, that's all I did there. And then today's video is part of the Fat Foreign Friends collaboration with my four friends, uh, Melissa, Savannah, and Camaro. 
and we asked four of our friends to join us today for a collaboration like i said and we're gonna have everybody's videos linked down in our description boxes so definitely check out everybody's videos we all did spring diys and all these girls are seriously some of my favorites so definitely check them out they're all amazing and then here's a look at how the little home sign turned out in front of my other sign that i made um this was in my last video so if you want to check that sign out i can link it also in the description box or at the end of this video and then here i took this little wooden plank panel from the dollar tree and i knew as soon as i bought this that i wanted to paint it um because i that brown just wasn't isn't my style so anyway i i was trying this and i didn't know if it was going to work out or not but i think it turns out pretty cool so i painted it white or well that's buttercream the color buttercream and then i took the brown glaze wax there and after it was dry and i dry brushed that across and then i used a baby wipe to kind of like you know, blend it in. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying to make it look cute. So I was blending, um, like dry brushing, blending. Then I took some sandpaper and I even kind of sanded it a little bit to pull some of the brown back through. Sorry, the description that I just gave was really confusing. But anyway, that is all I did there. Okay, and then pause on that for a second. I lost some of my footage of me painting this frame, but <laughs> I don't think you guys are going to miss it. <laughs> anyway, so... I just finished painting the rest of this frame with the buttercream color that I had there. Um, one coat, I think, is all I did because I wanted it to be kind of distressed. And then I took that wood plank panel thing and I hot glued it to the back of this frame. And this part kind of bugged me, honestly, because I really wanted to peel off that sticky part. <laughs> so it really made me, like, I really wanted to pull off that sticky part. But I didn't have a reason to because you know the way i placed this on the frame i wanted the wood part to show and blah 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 so anyway then i just trimmed off the backing of that you know so you couldn't see it from the front of the frame okay and before someone makes a comment about it <laughs> i have a trash can underneath me right there where i'm always throwing my stuff so if you notice in my videos that i'm always like throwing my trash on the floor i'm not i have a trash bag and a trash can right underneath me there so i just wanted to forewarn you before somebody's like ew she just throws all of her trash on the floor <laughs> But anyway, so then I just take some staples and staple this piece on the very edge of the frame. And there you go. Look how cute that turns out. I think that is so fun. And here I go again, trying to throw that love sign on something. I just wanted to use it so bad, but I didn't. Okay, and then here's a look at how it turned out. And I just stuck a little wreath on it. Um, I did make that wreath, but I didn't video the process. So sorry about that. But I think any little wreath you had on hand would look so cute on this. Okay, and then I took these tile these little fake tile things from dollar tree and i went ahead and i i wasn't feeling the silver so i painted it white and then here in a little bit you'll see i took some brown wax and also kind of distressed it of course okay and then these canvases are not dollar tree but i believe dollar tree has something very similar um and i took these i didn't know what i was doing yet honestly this last this craft here i had no idea what i was gonna do i just started doing it you know what i mean so anyway i go ahead and remove the canvases take the staples out all that thing well i took two staples out and then i was like no i'm not doing this and i just flipped it over um then you'll see here i took a bunny and which was from michael's i was thinking here I took that bunny and i was like oh i could maybe like do something like this and put something behind it i don't know i was brainstorming but then i go ahead and paint these with wax like the antique wax and i sped this part up as fast as i could because i know you guys know how to do this and then i dry brushed some white on it and i left a little bit of that in here so you could see what i was doing i just dry brushed it with white and then i think i took a baby wipe kind of blended it all in self-explanatory okay and then here you'll see i finish up the tile with the brown wax I put the brown wax on it so it would look a little distressed and then some of that silver does shine through but i was okay with that i think it gives it just a cool look an antique you know rustic look so just go with it and then conveniently these fit almost perfectly on the backs of these frames so that was so awesome i did have to use my exacto knife and cut off a little bit but they basically fit fit perfect and then my little exacto knife is actually from dollar tree and it works great so if you're wondering about the exacto knife from dollar tree works really 
Okay, and then same process on the second one. Just cut it to fit the back. And these also bugged me. I really wanted to stick off or pull off that sticky paper on the back. For some reason, you know, you just really want to pull that off and stick it to something. But I didn't. But what you could do if you wanted the backs of these to look finished, you know, more finished if it bothers you that it's just the backing of the, the wording there and all that. You could take like felt paper and stick to the back of that or brown, you know, nice brown paper from Dollar Tree. That brown, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you could do that if you really wanted to, but I didn't mind. Okay, so then anyway, I took these two colors, celery and moss, um, Waverly paint, and I just painted these bunnies green. And also on the bunnies, um, you could definitely take your putty and putty in those little holes. Because like on this craft, I'm not going to have a bow in the ears or anything. So you're definitely still going to be able to see the holes. But that literally never bothers me. I know it bothers some people, but by all means, if you don't like the holes, then fill them in. You know, this is just for inspiration and um, make your craft, you know, the way you want to make it. So, the way you have to make it to make yourself like it, you know? Okay, so then I, like, when I did those, when I painted those, I dabbed. I did painted them in the darker color and then I dabbed a lighter color on them so that they just looked kind of, I don't know, dimensional, not just solid green. And then I took some random ribbons that I had on hand. These are an assortment of Dollar Tree, Michaels, um, that's, that there is from burlapfabric.com, so I will link them in the description box, because they were kind enough to send me all these awesome ribbons, so anyway, I will link them, and then I just make these crisscross bows, I know you've probably all seen me make them before, they're super simple, but I do show the whole process here, basically, so you can get an idea of what I did, um, and then I just took the bunnies and hot glued them to the sides, and like, I made these opposites because I knew where, on my hutch, I knew where I was going to put them. And I wanted them to be, like, you know, coordinating where they were sitting so they looked opposite of each other. So, yeah, that's how I did that. And then I was going to stick these bunnies in the middle of a frame. But I kind of wanted these to be something that I can possibly reuse later by removing the bunnies and adding, like, a flower maybe or something. So, that's why I stuck the bunnies on the sides. And here's a look at how they turned out. Here they are together on my hutch, styled. Like I said, I put them, you know, opposite of each other, so I wanted them to be like that. And I just think that all this stuff turned out so cute together, and I just love it. Okay, and then I have to let you guys know that my baby was born a couple weeks ago, and we named him Winston Nicholas. He's doing awesome, and we're all home and everything, and everything's going well, but I have to let you guys know how cute he is. <laughs> anyway, so moving on to this this bucket. Um, this is basic. This is basic. Um, I know everybody has painted this bucket white and done this craft, basically, but um, I just wanted to show you guys what I did with it. So... I painted it white and distressed it with wax. I didn't leave a bunch of that in there because I know watching painting is boring. Um, so then anyway, I painted that, painted the bunnies. I wanted them to be like a gray, like a concrete kind of look. I wanted them to look a little more high end. So anyway, then I got them painted. You can see Winston here. He's in my little carrier. This is basically how I'm going to get anything done for the next six months of my life. <laughs> anyway, and then so I took these Dollar Tree flowers and I wanted this to be kind of like a, have like a flowy vibe to it and just be really flowy and shabby chic kind of looking so anyway I took these flowy flowers and cut the thingies off and cut them th so they were a little shorter stuck them in there just kind of arranged them how I liked them and then I also took this little pink pick from Michaels and arranged that in there too how I liked it and then I added some bows at the end and that's all there was to the So I took this pink Dollar Tree checkered ribbon and I made a little bow for the top bunny and then I made a little bow with the lacy ribbon for the shorter bunny. And then I also took the lacy ribbon and the pink ribbon and just attached it there to the top. And I didn't go all the way around the bucket, so just to forewarn you, if that bothers you, definitely go all the way around your bucket. But I didn't want to because I didn't want to waste my ribbon and I knew where I was putting this, so I knew you wouldn't see the back of it. So anyway, that's what I do. My hot glue gun was taking forever to heat up, so I feel like this part's kind of slow. Because I was, like, trying to just get everything ready. And then my hot glue gun was finally warmed up. But anyway, then I... Oh, I also added in some, like, little boxwood-style greenery. Because I just felt like it needed more greenery in it. So, that's what I did there. Okay, and also please ignore my background. Because my craft area behind me is very messy. I try to keep my table clean, but my area where I have all my stuff is just 
a hot mess, so don't judge me. And here's a look at how it turned out. I think it's super cute. And I just love the little bunnies. And it's just so fun. Okay, and then this last little craft here is so basic. Um, I took these little 10 cent tiles from our Habitat for Humanity store that I found. And I put this little... Well, first I glued these little blocks on. Those are from Dollar Tree. I glued those little blocks on the bottom to kind of make it rise up. And then I rubbed on this, cleaned it really well, and then rubbed on this little transfer, and that's all there was to this. Um, basically, I wanted to make this for my table because our dining room table, I painted it white, and I feel like my coffee's always kind of staining it. I mean, I sealed it, but anyway, I just wanted a little coaster for my coffee, and I thought this was pretty cute. I did not seal this, so it may get ruined, but, you know, it was a dollar, and, well, you know, it was like probably 20 cents to make this whole craft or maybe 50 cents so anyway thing turned out super cute and it's just a fun little easy simple thing to have on your dining room table for a coaster and don't forget to check out the link in my description box for everybody else's videos and thank you all so much for watching